you're seeing the second wave into China, and essentially it's companies that are coming in there um, looking to take advantage of the, the China internal uh, market. Uh, and some of them are coming in and will probably do pretty well. Others uh, are coming in and their rationale is more on the basis, well, there's 1.3 billion people in China, um, there should be a market for our particular product. Um, those companies may not do uh, uh, as well. You know, this is a ruthless market. Um, and particularly if you look at the bigger urban areas, there's a lot of international competition there. So you have to have good quality product or service. You know, you have to be really committed to the marketplace. You have to go there frequently, build relationships um, and demonstrate commitment. But then that can lead to good quality and profitable business. One of the UK's leading retail stores in the do-it-yourself arena in the UK um, have very aggressively entered the Chinese market. Um, they now have more than 60 stores across China. But what they've done very cleverly is to modify their business mo model to the needs of the Chinese consumer, where do-it-yourself isn't actually as popular as it is in the West, where obviously labour rates are quite low. So in China, they offer the same um, equipment, service, um, products and so forth, but they also provide the labour force that will kit out a flat for somebody in China. Um, and that it has proved to be a really successful business model.